Hello to everyone, this is Joanna, and this evening I want to share with you some items that I got. Um, I only went a few places today. I went to Bath and Body Works. I only got two things from there. I went to Target, which is where I actually intended to go, and I went to Ulta, and I got an item in the mail that um, I might be sending back, or I probably will be, depending on the message that I get back. Um, the first thing is I went to Target specifically for fabric softener. And to look for the um, Sally Hansen Salon Therapy Nail Polish with the Argan Oil and the Argan Oil. They did have it in Ulta. However, it was $12.99 in Ulta. And at Target, it was $6.99 for the same item. So I did get this downy. And I've used this this evening. You heard me talk about this one, wanting this one. I use the Glow a lot. And I use the Dreams a lot. And this is a third one that I use a lot. Usually when I get these, I try to get two. Or when I get a size like this, I eventually go back and get one or two. This smells really nice. I've used this tonight. And I've hung up what I've washed. Because some things I dry and some things I hang up. And since I was not washing a whole bunch of stuff... I hung up what I washed, and this smells so good. It's called Honey Flower, and it smells like pink flower petals. Um, and I usually will use this in conjunction with my Honey Lavender Tide, but instead, this evening, I used it with my Unscented Tide, and I need some more of that, but I just got this. And then the polishes that I got, I'm going to show you, because I believe... Yeah, that was all else. I got some snacks. They didn't make it. And I got this little drink right here, the little um, caramel cappuccino. And it didn't make it either because I'm working on it now. She put my little polishes in this little separate bag. Now, the one that looked kind of greenish because I thought that I saw a greenish one at Walgreens. And I thought that I saw the greenish one at Ulta. But it may have been the one that's called Therapeuter. So the only other popular shade that I saw um, was Slicks and Stones because the ones that they had in Walgreens, they had a bigger selection, but I believe they were 8 or $9 there, but I will probably go back there. So I got this purple color called Slicks and Stones. Now what I do want to know, because I've watched a few people um, talk about this, one of the people that I watched, Miss Hell of a Nails, I think, does nail stamping, and I don't know... Um, if any of the other people I watch do nail stamping. So I want to know if anyone has done any kind of nail art with this or any kind of water marbling, if you've done nail stamping, how it's working out. But I did get this color, and because they were $6.99, I got another one. So I got the one called Well, 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 because it just looked like a nice white to do some water, not water marbling, but um, gradient with. Because I like the Paper Mache by Finger Paints, and someone did swatches of this um, eyes white open and it looked like a nice one and this looked like a nice one too but as you can see it's not a stark white and that's what I like about it um, my OPI my boyfriend scales walls and my you can only or something cannoli whatever it is is kind of a, a duller white as well so this is one that I got and that's the only two polishes I got. And then I had to get this. When someone mentioned that this was vanilla scented, that's what did it. That's what made me want it. I do still want the top coat. So I will go back and get some more colors. I would like a bright color and maybe a nude color. But I want to know how it does with nail stamping or possibly nail art. And that may be all that I got from Target. So I'm going to share with you Mail and Ulta now. This package was in the mailbox today, which today is Sunday, so it had to have came yesterday. Um, and I had made several inquiries. You've heard me talk about this on here, about my order from OU London that I thought that the mail office lost. I had made several inquiries, and a couple of different people had answered my email before they decided to send the package out DHL. So this is the exact same thing, and it didn't have the date. But it's the exact same thing that I ordered and hauled. And I have contacted them because the honest and right thing for me to do is to send this back. But I was worried because I had opened up this envelope and I sent them a picture um, of this envelope here being opened. Because I'll probably put it back in that one box and send it back. But I had to wait until they contact me. But I did let them know that this came again. So it is the same instructions the um, Zodiac plate, the Trend Hunter plate, and the Alice plate. 
and these were the exact same items that I ordered because usually it never takes them that long to send anything and if I would have thought that it was coming I would have waited but I'm really certain that because I contacted different people one person might have simply sent the package out while someone else was waiting um, for a certain time to pass which is why um, I got the message about waiting for the 17th so I believe that that's why this one came is that they probably each sent out something so I will be returning this but it came in the envelope just like this and I had sent the picture because at first I thought it was something different like I knew that I hadn't ordered anything else from them but I didn't know because sometimes companies when they um, have a, a mess with shipping can sometimes send you out something extra or a surprise and when I opened up the envelope and saw it was a brown box I figured it was anything but um, this order so I'll be sending that back after contacting them now what I did go in Ulta for was the new lip um, liquid lipsticks from Urban Decay and while I was there I picked up the Firebird I think it was and this was funny because y'all know that I had that little sample and I really did like those and I'm still using some of those um, and I gave like my dark ones away because the perversion not perversion the um, blackmail and the one called what is that dark brown one I always forget what it's called and I keep wanting to call it delinquent it's disturbed or in my palettes so I gave those little samples away but this firebird was so pretty that's why I had to get a tube and I did try the firebird in my palettes because both palettes have firebird in it I tried one of them the finish wasn't the same this was a full-on pink and I had to look at it to make sure that it was untampered with because it was the last one in the little section and a lot of what I got today was the last one and it doesn't look all that interesting looking at the tube but when you put this on it was such a pretty rich vibrant pink that I definitely had to get this so these I think are $17 I think she told me I had six dollars in points to take off and today also I think was double or triple the points so each vice um, each lipstick that I got the vice lipstick rang up at 1508 and the liquid lipsticks rang up at 1596 I wanted to get the peach one the darkest peach one from Too Faced and I did try it on but I got two of these because one of these is for me and the other one is for my friend so I'm gonna try to set this off to the side somewhere so that I don't mess around and give her the one that I'm about to mess with here so this one is and I did decide that I wanted this in the liquid lipstick form I did want it in the lipstick and after seeing some swatches I decided to get it in this form because this too is in my palette but what I had intended to do with my darker shades the ones that people were calling patchy was to say like use the blackmail lipstick and then put this gloss over so I don't have this yet but I do know it comes in blackmail and if it comes in disturbed I'm going to get it in that and there's an aubergine type color I forget what the name of it is I want that I didn't see it at all and the one called time I definitely want that one and they had one of those and the one that was called mad they had none of now I think they sold out of those today or they hadn't put any out but this is what this looks like so I think these would be good like when I put on the lipstick from my palette and you know how it kind of fades and lightens up to put these but I don't plan on getting these in every color that's already in my palette it's just that I did want the lipstick itself because of my sample and I do still I think I gave my sample away to a friend that I got this for and she hasn't tried it yet so I'm going to have to do something to this so that I know which one of these I've just messed with because like I said I don't want to accidentally give her the one that I was messing with and see my pen don't want to write but I'm gonna do this because that indentation is deep enough there that I will see that and then this one will go to her and I believe that was all that I got in Ulta 
Like I said, I only spent a total of $50.30 for those three lipsticks. Needless to say, they had other things in there. They have the new OPI Fiji line, which I thought that I didn't want until I saw it in person. They had three of the colors up front. The purple looks like a great fit, which I liked a great fit, and I'm almost out of a great fit, so I'm definitely going to get that. They had the green up front, and I think a pink, or orange, an orange. I didn't look at the names, but I did like them. But in the back, they had all of the shades in the um that opi shines formula that special formula those were 12 and then the regular polish is going to be 10 and then they had the little four pack so i definitely want the fiji line i wasn't supposed to be seeing that and in target i didn't spend a lot at all i think i spent like this says 37 dollars and 31 cents the um Downy in that size is $8.99, and like I said, I use four caps of that. I just do. It's not excessive. I've always done that, and it really does. When I brought the clothes in and hung them up, they smelt like pink flower petals, almost like that candle. Um, and then I think I got like some Oscar and Hillshire Farms little snacks and my little Frappuccino, but the nail polishes and the oil, everything in that line is $6.99 at Target. I don't know if it differs at your store, but if you are set up like we are where there's an Ulta next to the Target, I would say before you purchase them from Ulta, check out your Target. And then the last thing that I got, guys, last thing, I went to Bath and Body Works and I did not get a whole lot. Now, they had the Magic in the Air candles in there. They had eight of them and I didn't see them till I was leaving. And today's the last day of the sale. I probably would have got four if I would have known that. But I was trying to be good. The two candles that I got are the ones that were sentimental value to me. And with the 20% off, they rang up at $12 a piece. So I wish I could have added another one. But I won't count me out yet because they're going to have more sales. So the two that I got, this one right here, sorry about that, which is Lily of the Valley I got because that is my birth flower. I wasn't sure I liked it. I didn't hate it, but I knew that I liked it. But now that I got it home, it smells better, but it's also very light in scent but i don't intend to light this yet this will be one that i'll probably have till next spring or summer but i got lily of the valley again because it is my birth flower and then of course you guys know the next one that i got it had to be the cherry pie because i kept talking about it if it would not have been for that lily of the valley i would have gotten the honeysuckle or the pralines and pecans um, which they are claiming smells like the candy pecans that we never got here. Then they tried to tell me that they had them out during the 850 sale. They forget that I'm in that store a lot. And that was one of those days where I think I was in that store three times. Like I went on my own. I ended up getting a ride from somebody. And then I ended up back out there again. That candle was never out. Um, so this one is the cherry pie. And you guys probably already know all this. But it says bright red cherries, flaky pie crust, and crushed almonds. I just love the packaging of these, and this smells good. I like this way better than the Cherry Malo. But I do intend to get some more of these. And the Lily of the Valley one says Lily of the Valley, Creamy Musk, and Garden Lilies. So these were the only two that I got. And needless to say, guys, you know I want more of these. I want the peach one, the honeysuckle one, whatever that blue one is that matches the hand soap. I want the hand soaps. Um, they still have the Magic in the Air hand sanitizer and the Coco Loco. I want at least 10 of each of those. I did go nosing around for the um, Cactus Flower and Coconut. I'm probably running out of my luck on that one. But there's two green ones in this line. Um, one of them was called Something Garden. I want the Tomato Vine one. I want those two. But one of them I liked better than the other. Something Pear was in there. So I don't know yet, but I do want a lot of those. But if I can only get these for right now, these. Oh, and the candle holders, the ones like the ones I had in the giveaway and the ones with the lines, they had three of the ones with the lines. And I thought they had three of the ones I put on Instagram, but they had nine and they're still $18.50. They were not on sale. They did bring back out some more of the cream colored um, tart warmers and they had some of the tart warmers in the summer scents but not this and they had the vanilla bean candle back so if i could have i would have gotten three or four more of the magic in the air and that vanilla bean but it's not in the frosty white glass it's in an actual milky white white glass but it sure did smell good so hopefully they have another candle sale i'll go back but this is all i got 
So I think I did pretty good considering for me, I only came out of there with candles and nothing else. I didn't write separate checks. I didn't use a card and a check and cash. I did good. So if any of you have any input or information on anything, especially these polishes here, and if any of you have done any kind of nail art, water marbling, nail stamping, let me know. I plan to get some more of these, definitely from Target and Walgreens. They're cheapest at Target at $6.99. Walgreens, I think, was seven or eight ninety nine, and then Ulta was the highest. At you know what? Why would these be twelve ninety nine and the OPI is ten? Even the OPI Infinite Shines is twelve dollars. You know, I'm gonna have to ask them about that. But anyway, until the next time, everyone have a great day.